Amar and Kundin are brothers. Now in their 40s, they have lived together almost their entire lives in the hills of Hamachal Pradesh. They share just about everything, their work, their home, and a wife. Tell me about your wedding day. We have a simple wedding, Kundin says. There is a bride and a groom, and the younger brother is simply attached to the elder brother. And this is their wife, Indira Devi. The trio have worked side by side as husbands and wife for more than 25 years. It's been going on for ages. My sister-in-law has two husbands. My mother-in-law also has two husbands, she says. It's called fraternal polyandry, where the brothers of one family are all married to the same woman. It's not common in most of India, but still flourishes in remote parts of the Himalayas. There are about 200 families in this steep hillside village that function pretty much the same, although some wives have three or four husbands, depending on how many brothers there are. Typically, the marriages are arranged. What about love? Do you love both of these husbands equally, or was this just for tradition? I like both of them. I look at them the same. When I am troubled, I tell them to marry someone else. But they won't. What they do want is children with their shared wife. This is a bit embarrassing, but how do you deal with sex at night? That we have to work out. We make shifts, change shifts, and sleep on alternate days, or else it won't work. Is it difficult to have to share a wife between the two of you? Have to, think about to run the families, we have to do this, overcome the hurdles, and we have to control our hearts from feeling too much also. But feelings grow, and so did their family. They have three adult children now, who all live and work together in the same house. Do you know which child belongs to which biological father? We tell the kids that both fathers are the same. The family doesn't know and doesn't care. The daily grind takes all their time and energy. There is no room for vehicles here, so everything is carried by head and hand. Life is simple. And most villagers do hard labor on their tiny plots of inherited land. Younger brother Amar breaks stones for a living in his backyard and at a mine. His wife does backbreaking work in the fields, careful not to step on snakes. In this difficult terrain with few jobs available and very little land to share, one of the reasons that polyandry is popular here is because of pure economics. The practice goes back centuries because land is so scarce in this hill country. If Amar and Kundin had taken separate wives, they might have had to split the family's little land. So they stick to tradition. Do you want this tradition to continue with your three children? I feel it is good for my daughter to have two husbands, she says. If they marry like that, they will be happy in the future. Her 17-year-old daughter isn't so sure about that. How many husbands would you like? One, two, or three? Teen. I would like one husband, she says, but in this remote corner of India, Sunita Pundir knows she is bound by custom. Will you marry for love or you will marry for tradition? I will marry for both, for tradition as well as for love. I will never leave our tradition even if I have to forego love. I will never spoil my parents' reputation and my brothers. Sunita's two brothers have already decided they will follow tradition and share a wife. My opinion is that in a family there should be a joint system, he says. The joint system is very good. Family runs very well that way. To find one, they'll have to travel to another village. The gene pool here is too small. The villagers say almost everyone here is related in some way. There's another incentive for polyandry. For every 1,000 boys born in this region, there are about 850 girls. 
As education and India's rapid modernization seep into this hill country, though, its ancient traditions may fade away. Until then, life for these villagers will be much the same as it was for their forefathers and mothers hundreds of years ago. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Himachal Pradesh, India. Oh.